Hi, George here. And today I'll be showing you how to make a pencil sketch effect from a photograph just like that. It's fairly easy, just a few steps, but there are a couple of tricky things in here. And if you have my Photo Coach program, I have a step-by-step -step on how to do this. Let me show you where that is quickly. And it's right here. You'll find that over here down in the techniques section right there, pencil sketch effect. Or on the main panels, same thing, techniques and pencil sketch effect right there. So step-by-step on -step, how to do this whole process. If you don't happen to have the Photo Coach program, I'll tell you how you can get this towards the end of the video. Okay, let's get back over here again. I'll just close this one down like that and dock that in here. The first thing you need is to open up your image and then go over here to Background, right-click and Duplicate Layer, choose OK, and then hide that background. This is just a safety, just in case we will be changing this. So you want to have a safety of the original just in case nothing gets messed up. Okay, we're on the background copy. Let's now convert this over into black and white. Go up to the Enhance menu, come down to Convert to Black and White. And I would say just try the standard Portraits option. This usually works out pretty well, but you have different options in here. Infrared is a bit higher contrast. As you can see, newspaper is really high contrast. The vivid landscape is not too bad, a bit higher contrast in the face area. It's up to you, but I would try Portraits first. If you're not happy with it, then try one of the other ones as well. She's OK. There's our black and white image. Let's now make a duplicate of this one. Right click, duplicate layer, choose OK. And let's now make an invert of this or a negative of this top layer. Go up here to filter, come down to adjustments and then invert. And that makes it a negative. Let's now go here where it says normal. These are your blend modes and come down to the color dodge blend mode right here. And you should get a purely white image or pretty close to purely white. If you have any real super darks or blacks in your image, you may see those kind of showing in. Okay, now that we have this, we need to blur this image, which will allow some of this to show through. And that's where the pencil sketch magic happens. Let's go up here to filter, come down to blur. And then you want the Gaussian blur. And I found that usually someplace between about 25 and 35 works out well. It depends on what you want. I'll leave this one at 35. She's okay. So there's our basic pencil sketch, but it's not as dark as I would like. I'd like to have richer blacks in here. So for that, let's go up here to the Layer menu, come down to New Adjustment Layer, and Levels. Don't check that checkbox. Leave that unchecked. Choose OK. This will then act on all the layers equally. That's what you want. Take the middle control here, move this to the right, and this is going to darken down those darks. Don't go too far or it does that to you. Just a bit more so we have some better darks in there. I like having something that gets close to black in the image someplace. Like right down here is close to black. The pupils are close to black. So that's pretty good. Now, the last thing I want to do is to clean up some of this messy stuff that's showing up in here. She has some freckles and things. And those are kind of showing through. I really don't want to have that in the pencil sketch version of this. So let's make a new layer here on top. Grab the paintbrush. Doesn't matter what color you have. You can see there's the paintbrush. Hold the Alt key down and click into a white area like right in here. That sets that as your foreground color and you can then paint with that right on your image. There we go. We're just painting that out. You can see over there on the layer side, they have that white area showing as I'm painting this in. And we'll just paint out the stuff that we don't want. Just kind of clean things up, kind of like using an eraser. But in this case, we can't use an eraser because of those different layers that we have. But we can come in and paint in. Now this has a soft edge. See a real soft edge brush. So I can come up next to these lines under the eyes and just kind of touch the edges of those and soften them down. I like to have that in there, but not as hard as it was. So just soften that down. Let's get the nose cleaned up right in here just a little bit. And just a touch. It's kind of cleaning things out. And right here, take a little bit of that out. There we go. Just making it a bit cleaner. Don't go too clean. It'll begin looking kind of fake. You want to have some naturalness to it. So just a little bit of cleanup should do just fine. And there we go. There's a very easy to make pencil sketch. Okay, I mentioned that I would tell you how to get the photo coach if you don't happen to have it already. And that's easy to get. Let me bring up that website for you. And it's right here. I'll put this link in the description. And this tool has text-based step-by-step instructions for just about everything inside of Photoshop Elements. There are some lists in here, step-by-step -step instructions, how-tos, a lot of stuff in this program. You must really love this one tool because you can use this with any other kind of training. Once you're logged in, you can go to the Photo Coach section and all these different areas in here, 
quick edit guided features, tools, menus, panels, filters, create menu plugins, and the technique section where I just recently added in the pencil sketch effect right down there. Let's say you wanted to find out about how to crop a photo using guided edit. Let's take a look at that one. And here's an article with step-by-step -step instructions all about how to do that particular technique. So it's really the easiest way to answer all those questions that come up while you're working on video training or you're watching YouTube videos. You'll have a lot of questions. This is the best place to go for those answers. And again, you can find that right here at togurus.com slash HTG photo. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe as well. I'm doing new videos all the time on Photoshop Elements plus other graphics programs. And if you want to help support this channel so I can make more of these videos, consider sending me a thanks. Just hit that thanks button right down there below the bottom right-hand corner of the video. And I'll see you next time.